you say that you do these in group sessions? Yeah, all of our programs, and we really believe in this too. You can have a psychedelic experience in one-on-one -on -one or by yourself or in a clinic, and we're supporters of that. I think if you look at the data, it's encouraging. But for us, the group matters. And a lot of, definitely some of what we're correcting for, for some of these people, is the fact that we lead these very disconnected transactional existences. And we find tremendous value and our guests find tremendous value in doing it alongside other people. And we've yet to have a single issue where there was like a really bad apple on a program. It's people that are generally well, are really like thoughtful. They're doing this as an investment in themselves and they want to be better versions of themselves. And so if you get groups that are all coming in with those similar intentions and coming in from that same place, then, then it works really well. And so when you bring a group of people together and you get them in a group and they go around and they share, they see that it's not just them that's having these challenges, it's everybody. And then you have like a late stage cancer patient come down and talk about they have six more months to live and you've got your 45, 50 year old executive that's woe is me because I can't find meaning. And they hear the cancer patients say that they're about to die. It kind of like, whoa, boom, you know? It puts things in perspective and we all need that. We need to see that it's not just us and it's a lot of the challenges that many of us are going through. It's just part of the human existence and it's, it's okay and you don't have to sweat it so much. And I think you can only really do that in a group like the one-on-one -on -one kind of clinician patient dynamic is really good in a lot of ways and it'll never go away and there's there's definitely use cases for it but healing in groups with other human beings supporting each other as peers has a lot of value